Hello, welcome back to my studio. Today I'm going to show you how to do this little booklet. Um, you can either use it for your journal, which is what I'm going to do, or you can use it separately, give it as a gift. This is just a prototype and it was my first time so we're gonna do it different so stay tuned with me and then the bird is sneaking through there when you open there's a beautiful bird picture with roses there's another um, in here there's places for a journal card in here we are gonna decorate the next one differently this was the prototype and I was I, I don't think I'm gonna use this I don't like um, that these are more uh, realistic than this so I'm not gonna put this again or this because this is very um, has a lot of volume and I don't want it to have that much volume but you stay with me and you'll see what I'm gonna put next and since I put I was able to open this but since I put that in there now it doesn't open too well so we are gonna fix that stay with me and then there's another place for putting card in here but let's do it better this time and prettier okay so stay with me and uh, this is the line drawing of the one the project that we had last time if you need the line drawing please let me know and I can provide you one okay since I was not able to open what I did was I cut that section in there now I'm able to open this in here see but we're not gonna put that anymore we're gonna decorate it differently so before I start I want to mention two, two channels in YouTube Rhoda Burks and I'm gonna write the name in the description for the video and Corey Damon originally this uh, one sheet wonder I saw it on her channel I did uh, make a few changes to it but the original version is at her channel and uh, Rhoda Burks because I have learned so much from her uh, for scrapbooking she's super creative and she used a lot of uh, paint and mixed media on her journals too. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna get is this 12 by 12 sheet and I bought it at Amazon and you may find it someplace else. It is craft papers, uh, wood textures. They are super pretty. As you can see, they are paper for wood and I love it and the reason I use this is because I wanna um, if this is supposed to be like a birdhouse um, this is for my bird journal so I'm gonna use a lot of birdhouses, nets, eggs, also flowers I'm gonna do it like it is a bird journal but in spring where there's lots of flowers and bright colors and the main colors I'm using because I am I want to inspire by the colors for these and you have to see Rhoda's bird, uh, bird, um, bird journal which she used a f uh, postal that she has for these uh, which was a big post postcard I do not have that postcard but I have a smaller one and I want to use that because I want to use this as the colors for my so I they're gonna have a tiny bit of blue but mainly uh, I'm gonna have greens and pinks and some oranges too and so colors of nature but uh, mainly the colors for the for the journal are gonna be these so I will have all the information also in coffee uh, for you to get and um, I will I want to also tell you that I'm gonna start doing some um, giveaways every time that I reach uh, 1,000 subscribers extra subscribers I will have a giveaway and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of the videos 
I don't know which one yet so please comment on all the videos please like and comment to all the videos and I'm going to uh, select one of the videos and probably the one that has the most likes and one of the videos that I'm going to use um, a program in the internet that chooses one of the comments and I'm going to do that every 1,000 subscribers. Right now I have 33,000. So when I reach 34,000, we'll have the first giveaway. So this is a 12 by 12 paper. And the first thing that we're going to do is cut it horizontally at five and a half. Now, this is, this is a bird house. I want the, the wood going this way. Well, it doesn't matter which way you have it, but... I, I want it this way. So since I have to cut it horizontally, which is like this, I'm going to turn the page like this and I'm going to move the paper until it is five and a half and then cut it. So I'm going to put the paper at five and a half, make sure it is straight, and cut it. Now this paper is going to be now five and a half by twelve. So I'm going to remove this and I'm going to show you how to score it. Oh, so I ended up cutting it the wrong way, so now my wood is going this way, so that's okay, you know. You never know if, if it is uh, the wood has been put that way or the other way. So we're going to have one that was done with the wood, um, and this one was has the wood like this, and this one is going to have the wood like that, and you'll decide which one you prefer, okay. So now let's core this. But if you want to have the wood, I don't have any more paper, um, so I can not do it again. But if you want to have the wood this way, this way, you have to put the paper like that. So let's score this first page. So I told you I was going to tell you everything I am starting, and you probably will be starting to. So let me tell you something. This is not the one to buy. Number one, because it damages your paper when you're cutting it, um, it did to mine. It tore the paper like that, so it's not good. The other problem, it is, that you, you can be confused in here because it has a section that has um, millimeters down there. So don't use that, but then, even if you want to use the one that have inches, see this one have inches, um, this is not really like when you put, I'm going to show you with a ruler, this ruler has inches, and when you check 4 inches, in this ruler is in here. Oops, yeah, some, 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 see, four inches in this ruler is in here, but this one is marking five. And that is probably they're counting this section for the cording. So this is not a good uh, tool to use for your scoring board because you're going to get confused and it happened to me and I messed up uh, another piece of paper that I had because I was scoring it in here and I scored like for example we have to score the first score is going to be at four and one eighth so I did four and one eighth but when I check it was not four and one eighth so it damaged my so now I don't have another scoreboard but I, I ordered one and I will show you when I get it what I order. For, for now, what I have to do is I cannot use that ruler. So I am using my own ruler and I'm going to find four and one eighth and I'm going to score like this. I won't be able to show you because this is very hard to do it with this um, product and the ruler. But what we're going to do is going to find that, that and press in here like this. And I'm going to do that three times. I'm going to do one at four and one eight. Then I'm going to move to eight and one quarter, eight and one quarter, which is over here, over here. And in this one, it will be there, but it's not that. So don't use this type of coring board. 
and so these are the scores that I'm gonna put that in the paper that I'm gonna put in coffee it is four and one eighth eight and one four and ten and one eight okay so I I score at four and one eighth and I am going to fold it like this I want to have this part at the top so I'm gonna fold it this way this is gonna be the inside and this is my outside this is the color that I want on the outside the paper that I want on the outside I'm using a non-directional paper which means that it doesn't matter if you put it like this or like this and it will work because if you have letters or you know item figures that you have well, have to put it the correct way then it's more difficult so for this project and this is the base use a non-directional um, paper and then you can decorate it with things that are directional this is a bone folder and I fold it for the first time and I'm gonna now burnish it with this bone folder and notice that I'm not using I'm not using uh, that side I'm using the flat side so that I don't break my paper and I'm gonna do this only one time I'm just showing you the first time so you know how to do it so you have to burnish that paper now I'm gonna do my second scoring and it's gonna be at I'm gonna put the paper upside this is the side that I want to score and I'm gonna put now the paper at eight and one fourth eight and one fourth and score it in here so I score at eight and one four and now I'm going to fold the paper and burnish I use them so now it should be like this completely like that and now this section that is left I'm gonna score it again because I'm gonna fold it like this but I need a score and the score will be 10 and 1 eighth so doing this way I'm gonna do 10, 10 at 1 eighth okay so I score at 10 and 1 eighth and this was the, the side and now I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it the other side and I'm done now with this with this one and I'm gonna move now to the next the next piece this piece this piece you have to check if you have a tiny bit of of this left in there I don't have any but if you have some you can uh, like I did before you can cut a very very small piece of it so that it it, it is uh, completely like that okay and this piece that we have is the base I'll show you let me open this and I will show you what we did is this base this base we have not we have to cut yet this section this section and this section this thing that you see folder in here this thing that you see folder in there that is this section this section this is what you see folder in here we are going to glue this paper before we glue this in here so maybe let's just do that now I'm gonna find this paper and glue it in here because I don't want to forget that I have to glue that paper before I glue this in here so this paper I'm gonna show you closer this paper is from Timu if you have not ordered from them they have very good prices now this is called old magazine so it is a very thin paper and this is when you buy it this is how it looks like and it has beautiful it has beautiful papers we are going to use look at that it has beautiful papers 
we are going to use several of the papers from here like we're going to use that one and so let's find this one see how pretty but they're very thin because they're like old newspaper um, they have other papers that are not as thin as this one but I, wa I like the, the photos in here so I'm going to find this um, oh here it is no is it, was that one let me check if it's that one yeah that's the one so I'm going to glue this section I'm going to cut it because I want the, the, the section that I want showing is this one so I'm going to show you where we're going to cut it so we're going to the only section that is going to be underneath is going to be a small section but we have to cut it so that it fits in here and we don't want we want the bird to be outside so about there we're gonna cut it about there let's let's make um, let's get a ruler where I put it okay and I'm gonna tell you exactly how much you need so this is like two and a quarter let's see two and a quarter two and a quarter is right there I'm checking on the size of these so this leaf is almost four eighth so four eighth yeah so around there is that we're gonna cut so it is like um, a tiny bit more it's like two and six eighth No, five, five eight, two and five eighths. So I bought this cutter and I do not recommend it. It's super dangerous. If you handle it underneath, you're going to cut your fingers underneath this section. So that's not good. So let's see. I'm going to try. I hope I do not damage my, but I think right there will be good. If not, we can put more inside. That's what we can do. Let's see. I'm going to cut it there. That's what I, I, I left. Let me see. This is two and a half. So this is two and a half. Probably I needed more, but that's all right. This that is left, we are going to use the... And I'm going to show you where. Let me put this cutter down. I'm going to show you. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna use a f um, circle punch. And I'm going to cut that flower in there. I do not see. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Do not throw away any, any paper that you have left. See see if we uh, do it this way we can see it better and I don't know if it was I don't know if it was that big let me find the original I'll show you this is the flower I don't know why it's the other way but that was the flower that I use so I'm gonna cut it that circle I think that's the one that's good size and I'm gonna cut this flower in here and use it for that <laughs> I 
Okay. So I'm going to put that away and have it uh, somewhere that I don't, for, don't forget what it is. And let's glue this to our paper. Now I'm doing two at the same time. So this one is the correct uh, side. And I will show you both at the end so that you decide if you want it this way or the other one is the other way. This turned out very pretty, this, this, see? Okay, so I'm going to glue this now in here. Make sure that it is like that. And that's what it's going to cover. Now, I, I do not think it is the correct size. And I think I cut it up and down. Uh, Mid-gent. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut a tiny bit at the bottom and a tiny bit of the top. So a midgent. Is that the correct word? I don't know. A tiny bit at the top and a tiny bit at the bottom. I hope this is not a long video, but it probably will be a long video because I'm trying to show you everything. Uh, let's see. That's perfect. See, it doesn't show. That's perfect. So I'm going to take my glue. And then the other thing is this, um, this paper is very thin because it's like a newspaper paper. And uh, this is the glue that I'm using are are glitter and I purchased this at, you don't need this but I lost the pin that it came with so I purchased this at Etsy I will find the the name of the person and put it in the description for the video so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put very thin amount because this paper is so thin that I don't want and this dry very fast and I don't want uh, it to um, have show the wood, I mean the glue, from the outside part. And I should follow the, <laughs> the recommendation of Rhoda. She uses um, tweezers to hold the paper. <laughs> and I'm not doing it, but next time I will. So, let me see. Make sure it's correctly. And then, gently, gently, gently. I'm going to check if it's, yeah, it's not showing. And gently, because this paper is so thin that you have to do this very gently and you have to put back your pin to the glue right away so it doesn't dry okay and this is how it's gonna look I left a tiny bit of space in there because when it falls it falls correctly and this is how it's gonna be looking for the next step, we have to make this hole, if you're going to make it. It's not an easy step, because the this is not going to go inside there. And if you want to know the size of this circle, let me give it to you right now. So it is one inch. So this is a one inch. Yeah. A one inch circle, circle puncher. So this doesn't go all the way down there. And we need to make sure that the bird is inside there. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. This is where I cut the rose. I'm going to put this in here like this where I want the circle to be. What I did was I put it like this and I check 
if it's correctly there. I want it a tiny bit. Uh, so what you can do is you can grab it like this and mark it in there with a pencil and that way it is exactly where you want it to be. So you can close this and put a clip in here. Let's see. We can put a clip in here. And that is exactly where we want it. And then you can use a pencil to mark it. I don't know where my pencils are, so I'm just going to use a pen. And I'm going to mark where I need to cut. And unfortunately, you will need to cut this by hand. If you don't want to do it, just keep this part, okay? The bad thing to using a pen is that unfortunately it moved, so now I have that. But I'm going to be creative and do something with that, <laughs> you know? So we have it like this, and when you put it back like that, it should not cover your bird. So make sure, if you're going to do this step, this is very crucial that you do it correctly. So I'm marking it in here, and if it keeps moving, maybe I should use a paper that is stronger. But anyway, I'm going to do it correctly. So I mark. I'm going to put it like that and it is in the right place, okay? So make sure you do it correctly and if that happens to you, uh, we're going to paint that. We'll see. You'll see what we can do with that, okay? So let's cut this. I'm cutting my with a cutter, with an exacto knife or a cutter, wood cutter, box cutter, and that is what I have. I'm going to use the Walnut Stain Distress Oxide. I'm going to use that to ink. The Distress Ink is too strong. And at this point, I'm not going to show you all the inking, but at this point, you can distress as much as you want. That's when you do it to as much as you want. I'm doing it because sometimes it shows the white of the paper and I don't want that white of the paper showing but I am you do all I'm gonna do it only one time for you and you do it uh, on your own okay so this is what I'm doing with that section I'm just inking it <laughs> I just ink that section in there that's it and don't throw away any of these circles. Circles, you can use them. So that's I'm gonna let this dry. We're gonna cut vertical at two and a half. So depending which side you want, I'm gonna use this side. You decide what you wanna see. Two and find the two and a half in here, which is right here. And that's two and a half. So this is going to be this section in here. But uh, it's going to be scored at one fourth. But there's all this section miss, uh, left. So that's why it says now you have to trim this to five. So check which side you want to trim. I like this side better. So I'm going to trim this side. And it has to be trimmed to five. So you put, put this at five. And trim it there. Now you have this gonna have this piece left. It's got this in the mail, it's called score body, and it's not a 12 inches, but it's a um, nice size to put in under the camera, and it brings with uh, it comes with the cover. And I like that it has the 1814. It is, um, and it's in inches. So what I'm gonna do, um, as I told you, we need now to score this piece, 
and we're gonna score the top so we have to put it like this and it has to be scored at one fourth and let's pick the tool uh, at the high at one fourth okay so one fourth is in there oops had to okay so there and that is going to be turned like this and that is going to be as I told you this section in here and you have to round the corners so we are going to round the corners with our corner rounder. Sometimes if this doesn't work well, do it again. Okay, there you go. This one is another uh, of the things that I bought from Timu. And I will let you know where I got it. And is I think I'm going to cut this section, even though this is a cover, it's this hard. Um, and I think I'm going to put that um, in this section in here but it is very hard so I'm, I'm, I'm adding an extra so I'm not gonna cut it I'm gonna cut it um, so that it does it fit inside let's see it is like this so I'm going to measure this and I'm gonna again use my Pen, but you can use your pencil. I'm going to cut it in here. Oops. Sorry, I was out of camera, so I cut it in here, this section, and now I'm going to cut the top part. The top part where I put the the line. And now I'm going to cut it around there. So I'm going to make it imperfect like it is in, the, in there. And you know it's, it has some um, words in there. But I'm just going to put something on top. I have to find a saying. And I'm going to put a saying. And I'm going to round these corners. These are Tim Holtz uh, scissors. I didn't want to use my normal scissors because they, you know, they're not as in good shape anymore. So I'm going to cut these corners. Okay, and let's also make this section imperfect. Like that. And I'm going to ink and make sure that you have ink everything so far. Everything that we have done so far, make sure you ink it. And I am going to put a tiny bit of darker in here since it is darker in there. Let's see, I'm going to bring the one that has the darkest. Oh. And put some dark in some areas. And this one was the scorched timber. So the piece that I cut from the top, I'm going to use it to put some saying here so to cover this section I'm just going to cut it around here and round it okay so now I am going to check it again if it's gonna cover that perfect it's gonna cover it doesn't matter if it shows a tiny bit. 
there and I'm going to round the corners and I'm going to ink it oh come on it's not rounding I have another rounder in here if you don't find the one that I have it's not as good as the other one see it doesn't make a good job that's why I'm not using it anymore sometimes it's not working because maybe it's full of paper but this one is not a full of paper I'm gonna continue until until it, it rounds it good but now it is damaged because now it is damaged because um, because of the other one so you can always use your scissors and it doesn't matter if it's well rounded because this is everything in here is imperfect and don't forget to ink it after you have round the edges and let's find something to put on top and we're gonna put something on top before we uh, glue it in there this book is a simple story sticker book and it has lots of sayings and I'm gonna take the one that says bloom and grow so I'm just going to take that one from there from that sticker and I'm gonna put um, I don't know if it's gonna cover it completely let's see barely covering it oops hmm let's see let's see I think we have to put something below because it's not covering it so I'm just gonna put this underneath let's put this on top let's put some glue because the stickers may not be too good so we can put some glue and this is the piece that we cut from there we're still using things that we have um, leftovers pieces put a lot of tape, a lot of um, put a lot oops of glue okay so I put it in I glue it to this piece and now I'm gonna trim it and now I'm gonna glue this piece on top of there Get to put your pin back in your glue and let's put this on top of that okay let's let let's wait until this dries now I'm gonna glue this other piece in here and go check Timo's paper because they're um, they're cheap especially if you're starting and you want things that are cheap Okay, bloom and grow. Okay, let's wait an, a tiny bit until it dries and then we can glue this piece on top of this, like this. I'm gonna wait to glue this piece in here until we have attached this to the journal. I think I'm gonna wait okay but this is what we're gonna have and I'll show you what we have so far we have these and this is gonna go in here like this look how pretty that is see how pretty that is this is gonna be gorgeous now this piece has it to be cut vertically at four inches so let's cut it at four inches 
Walmart. The same piece has to be cut horizontally at three and three quarters. That's what you have left. Now these two pieces that we just cut are going to be these two flat, this one and this one. So we are going to score at half inch so that we have a um, section that we can put underneath and a section that we can put in here. So half an inch and this one is going to have the half an inch this side and this one is going to have this side and let's uh, bring the scoring board and we're going to do half an inch so I'm going to do in this side the half an inch I think for me it is easier if I turn it like this so I put the half inch in there and that's going to turn like this and that's the big one so the big one is the one that goes in here like this we have to round those two corners and ink it and this one is the one that's gonna go like this so let's do half an inch also in here and this coin board is so good because it has all the numbers the the eighth and the halves and the fourth so that's the two scoring okay let's let's burnish and let's um, round the corners I purchased most of my tools from Amazon but um, my, I'm just going to give you the brand name this one is Kado, Kadomaru Pro. Now this large piece that you have left, you have to cut it to two inches and you have to be two inches and five and a half inches high. So the cut will be vertical to two inches. So let's put two inches in here. And it should be five and a half inches um, of height so let's start gluing the pieces so this is the two and a half inches by five that we put um, we score at one fourth and um, we're gonna put the glue on this inside section and we're gonna put it behind the front and make sure I'm gonna put it I'm gonna leave a tiny bit of of the front in there so that it does not um, show on the back on this side so I'm gonna put the glue in here a skinny 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 amount of glue and I'm gonna put it in here wow like that and I left a tiny bit of of the front showing and I'm gonna make sure that these stay there completely and I'm gonna tell you something don't try to cut this so that it is <laughs> leveled because I did that and then I was in trouble so let's, let's make sure that this is glue and I probably didn't push it well but it's already there so don't try to change it and now I'm going to glue the, the, the front in there the front that we made the beautiful front that we made 
Let me see if I can. So I'm gonna put glue behind these. Forgot to put the the cap. And don't oops. Oh no. Don't spend too much time with your glue because it dries very quickly. Okay, so we're gonna put these here on top. Okay, so this is the section that we're going to glue in here first. And you're not going to leave a space in there. But anyway, this is what I want to have in here. And I'm going to cut it so it fits in here. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful, beautiful project, I mean, card. But that's all right. <laughs> we can put it again in another place. Uh, that was not good. So let's cut it so that it fits. And Okay, so cutting this piece to fit in there. I think I need to cut a tiny bit more but I'm gonna take from the hat instead of the row of the peony. This is this set is called Peony Garden. It's a beautiful set and I'm gonna cut uh, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it like that and I'm gonna glue it like that So let's glue it in there. And when you glue things, you can glue things around it and leave the space to for, to put in things, but not in here. And here I'm going to glue it completely. Okay. Bean. And now it doesn't go inside. Oh well. Let's leave it like that. And let's put this in here. That's all right. If you leave spaces like that, that's that's fine. I should have inked that and I didn't, but that's all right. It's not meant to be then. And I am trying to make this bright and not um, not grungy. And then I'm gonna glue this. Oh, that looks so pretty. And I'm gonna glue this to here like this and I did not show you the section that I did that but that's all right because there's a section this section is gonna go in there and it's gonna cover my boo-boo and I was distracted and I didn't check it correctly and I put the wrong one but I'm showing you the correct one so you're gonna glue this in here Make sure I have the, the one for the correct. Okay. And I don't want it completely down. So let's put it like a tiny bit. Like that is good. See how much I put in the other one. I put more in the other one. But that's all right. I'm going to leave it like that. Doesn't have to be exactly the same as the other one. You know, I'm making a different one. That's why I'm changing everything. So that you have two different wants to see and decide which one you want to do okay let me tell you these things that I put in here that that all these they're all all that these and these they're all from this set that is called ledger shipboard from the simple vintage spring garden collection and that's simple stories in case you want to know but if you want to do what I'm doing right now, I'm using Minte Papers Peony Garden and I'm using the papers I purchased from uh, Timu. 
I will let you know exactly know in the, the paper that I'm going to put in the coffee shop. So this is the papers from the Minte Papers Peony Garden Collection. So do not throw any of these. You know, all these pieces, keep them. You never know when you're going to need them. They're super pretty. See? Now we're going to glue in here and in here. Okay, so, okay, so open your booklet. And now we're going to glue this flap in here. And we're going to glue only, when you open it completely, these two panels. From top, top, one line at the top and one line at the bottom. And that's it. And we're going to glue it in here. Because this is going to be a tuck in here. So just glue the top at the bottom. So now we're getting ready to put this piece, the one that I messed up but you didn't. <laughs> so we're going to glue it right inside here and the notepad is going to be on top but uh, to reinforce mine I'm going to put something on top as soon as I glue it. But you don't have to do that because you didn't mess it up because I didn't show you how I mess it up. <laughs> so this is where you're going to measure where you want to have it. <coughs> See how I had it in here. Some of the bird was showing. Now less is showing, but that's all right. You don't have to see the bird. It's a surprise. So I'm think I'm gonna glue it in there, like that, and open everything, even that section. And I have to put the glue in here. And attach it to this section inside where the notepad is gonna go. Wow. I have glue on my finger, but that's alright. So I'm gonna put it and check it instantly. See this is where I want it. Okay, I'm moving it a tiny bit. I think that's fine where it is, so I'm going to press. You don't see the bird because this is going to be closed, but right now you want it open. So now, since I messed this up and I have that and I don't want it to be fragile, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do in case you do mess yours up. There's, we still have this section that we have not used and I'm gonna just gonna take a tiny section of this and put it in there. Again, you don't have to do this because you didn't mess up yours. I'm gonna glue that in there. You did not mess up yours so you don't have to do this. But if you do make the error, everything is fixable, you know. Do not panic if you mess up something just, you know. <laughs> Break it and you can cover it. <laughs> so, and that will reinforce that. So now I'm going to glue this photo on the front. And I'm going to cut mostly at the top. I think that's enough. So I'm going to glue that in there. Let's put this in here. Make sure that it's straight. And that's it. Now I have this tiny piece in here. I'm going to tell you the dimensions I have is 2 and 1, 2, 3, 3 8, 2 and 3 eighths by 1 and a half. I want it to be only 1 inch wide. Remember, I'm doing two journals because I'm keeping one for me. <laughs> have to keep a journal. And the other one is going to be on sale. As soon as I'm finished with this uh, bird journal, it's going to be on sale at my website. So 
three quarters of an inch. You have to score at three quarters of an inch and burnish this. Let's see how it looks now. Still, still I think it's too big, right? Let's do, let's do more. Let's do one inch scoring. Sorry, but this was, I don't know, it ended different this time. <laughs> Sometimes that happens, but you need to learn to know how to adjust. I think that is good. So where do we want this? About the middle is good. Okay, so we are going to glue it about me the middle middle about the middle we're gonna glue it glue it and we're gonna glue it underneath. You can cut this flap if you don't want to have that big flap, but that's all right. It will give it more strength if I leave it like that. Let's see. It cannot impede my closing, and it's not impeding my closing, and that's perfect. And on top, I'm gonna glue something but first before I do that I'm gonna put the closure the velcro dots that I purchased at Amazon and you need two and you put and put them together just put them together and we're gonna use glue and they have they they have glue but I'm gonna put a dot of glue and I'm going to put it in here in the middle. Okay. And I'm going to put another dot of glue. And I'm going to close it and press it. And that's going to glue both sides. Now let's take this rose that we cut, this rose circle. And we're going to put it in there. I'm going to take another video, a second part, just to decorate it more. Because it needs more decoration. And I, I don't like to put to post huge videos. But I hope you like what we have done so far. Please, please subscribe to the channel. Please come back for more videos. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.